Hi guys, Happy New Year. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe and well. Um, so we've been working on a, a few weird and wonderful projects over the last like few weeks. Um, and we're going to share one with you now um, on the basis that it, it shows a massive range of skills um, in terms of like the sort of technology that goes into doing this sort of stuff. So this little thing here is a tiny little wax seal which has been pressed in with a signet ring. So it's a family crest. Um, they don't have any digitized images of it and they were asking us if we could engrave it onto some knives and to some guns. So this thing is like 10 millimeters high and we've had to like recreate the artwork and then convert it into lots of like different formats and get it through our, our laser engraver. Um, so we're gonna share with you now that, that process and what it has taken to achieve that seemingly sounding simple job. Okay, this is the object in question. So this is a relief of a signet ring, which has then been pressed into this piece of wax. Now this is like the master sample. Uh, this is back before sort of digital stuff. Um, so this thing is less than 11 millimeters high, the actual piece of artwork itself. Um, and for reference, that's a pound coin. You can see the size of it, it's tiny. Now that actually has text written in the banner, um, which we need to pick out as well. And there's quite a lot of detail in the line itself. We're now gonna switch over to the microscope um, to give you a better shot. Okay, so what we're doing, we have a digital microscope with it, like a backlit lamp here. And you can just see on the monitor that we are just bringing in that focus. And you can now make out all those details. And then we'll snapshot this um, and use it as the basis for our artwork. I'm Chizara and I'm the graphic designer at Unbelief Workshops. I've been recently working on this particular family crest and I will walk you through the process of what it took to take uh, this particular image ready for um, laser engraving. So I've imported the microscope image into Illustrator and then used it as a reference to overlap the outline of the lion. So I filled in the outline to create a better contrast when I actually add the details. In this image you can see I've, you see I've added the text. Um, it's, the text actually is a combination between a original font from the software that I've then um, edited each individual letter to make it more similar to the to the original to the original sort of hand carved uh, design. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a drawing tablet to add in all the details. Um, that will allow me to uh, go back and change, manipulate all the details as I need. So at this stage, I no longer need the color, neither the background image and I can see clearly all the details that need uh, for the editing, deleting or uh, manipulating. This is the final image with all the details added and issues removed it's, and it's now ready to be, um, to be exported for the laser engraver. Okay, so we now have the artwork um, all converted and put into the laser software. Um, at this point, we still need to hash it because all of the details are now sort of, all the color's been stripped out um, and we want this to be black. Um, so we use that using the hash function um, and I've already set this up and this will now uh, basically hash and color in these lines but they're, they're very very small tight lines um, so that gives us the final image um, and we are now going to laser engrave it So we have the artwork engraved into a piece of steel um, and we're really happy how it came out. Um, it was a really interesting project and we look forward to doing some more of this sort of stuff in the future. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more content and we'll see you soon.